Miss Chili here. Oh, oh, that's just not. I'm gonna keep my warm hat on until uh, until we get some uh, heat going here. Anyway, a little bit of a snowstorm out. Came down on the grizz, finally got my tracks on. Had them on for about a week now. But uh, still more rain and stuff coming later in the week. But today and tonight and tomorrow morning is gonna be a bit of a blizzard. So. Got them on for now anyway, and uh, if we lose all the snow, I'll just take them off again and put the tires back on. But first things first, now I'll make some splits and uh, get this fire going. Get this place cooking. Sure, I brought some uh, dry pants to change into because I knew it was going to be a snowy ride down. Hoodie, nice dry hoodie. She's starting. Oh, yeah. Off that solar panel. Not getting much sunlight today, anyway, but still, wind's starting to come up now. Can't even see the ocean. from the sky it's about a 14 or 16 year old girl uh, in 1971 I think yeah they're playing a hit by lightning over the Amazon jungle so the plane blew apart but somehow she survived the fall into the jungle she was still strapped in her seat and, and survived the fall and then she survived, I don't know, 12 or 14 days in the jungle by herself. So, pretty good survival book. I just started reading that one. Let's see what we got to eat. For breakfast, I just have a couple of eggs. And I also have some honey garlic mousse left from last night's supper. So that's breakfast. Moose and eggs. And for supper today, I've got a Nalgene bottle pretty much full of uh, moose chili. Yeah, I eat a bit of moose, yep. <laughs> moose chili. That was from a few weeks ago, but I, I, what was left, I froze. That's pretty much it. I brought some milk. 
Um, my outdoor pot here for the chili to warm that. I got some more stuff, uh, some beans, some trail mix, first aid kit, of course. First aid kit goes everywhere with me on the quad, ice fishing, wherever. Cabin, of course. The lights, Christmas gift from Nevada last year, last Christmas. This little lantern that I bought for backpacking, but I still, I still haven't used it. Trail mix, granola bar. That's pretty much it. Just gonna be a chill night. Just wanted to. I haven't been down here um, for the night since New Year's Eve. Me and uh, my girlfriend and uh, our daughter Nevaeh was here for the night on New Year's Eve. And uh, we actually watched the fireworks and stuff from town from here. Could see them perfect from all the way out over uh, Little Catalina and Catalina. Trinity Bay North. But yeah, just going to be a chill night, like I said. Going to eat some chili. And I just wanted to come and spend the night in the snowstorm. I always like coming in the, when it's going to snow and stuff, but... I can't always do it if the tires are on the quad because I don't know how much snow we're going to get and I might get stuck here, but with the tracks on, I could come. It doesn't matter how much snow we get, you know? But yeah, looking forward to getting into that book tonight. With the fire roaring, cup of tea. Should be a nice, uh, nice relaxing night. Let's see if I got some here, which I believe I do. I got, I got spare batteries in here for my um, for my spot, for my lanterns and stuff. Always nice to have spare batteries. And I've got to a total of five GoPro batteries because those batteries are just terrible. I don't know if anybody out there owns a GoPro. I, I own the Hero 9. And it's uh, in the cold, the batteries are just terrible, terrible, terrible. So you gotta have lots of extra batteries. Let's see if I can get this working now. Might take a little bit to uh, pick up how cold it is outside, but I think it's, it's gonna be in the minus 20s tonight Celsius in the minus 20s and then uh, later in the week it's going to be like plus 8 degrees again and rain. This has been the most bizarre winter weather wise uh, I can remember you know like I don't know it gets warm and then freezing and warm and then freezing. Let's get this on right away. Every last drop. That looks pretty good. Get that warmed up. Get a cup of tea. Good for the soul, that is.
I was kind of worried that was gonna melt the styrofoam bowl. Looks all right though. Moose chili. I had a couple homemade buns, that would be nice. Oh yeah. That'll warm you up, bye. Hey guys, I'm going to enjoy my supper and I'll uh, check back with you later. It's only about five o'clock, quarter to five. And uh, I had a couple bowls of chili. Just going to enjoy my tea, do a little more reading and uh, take in some of that heat from the wood stove. She's starting to put it out of her now. Blustery. Old bike is getting buried. I know the last time I stayed down here in a snowstorm, uh, I went out in the morning and my quad was uh, had a few inches of snow on it. I got a lot of uh, comments about covering it up and building a shed and parking it under the cabin somehow and but uh i mean the quads are made for for outdoor use you know like a few inches of snow on the quad overnight is not going to hurt it that thing could get buried under 10 or 12 feet of snow and i could dig a tunnel to it and the thing is still go you know what i mean Just gonna have a little hot chocolate and a little snack before bed. It's like 10 o'clock now. Gonna get some shut eye soon. Freezing cold outside now. And pretty blustery. The heaviest snow is supposed to fall between now and uh, middle of the night so if you guys have been wondering where I've been at for a couple weeks you can go read the post there on the community tab there I posted uh, a couple weeks ago and you'll uh, see where I've been or whatever but I'm still working on the cabin you know I've done, I've done a bit of ice fishing and stuff the last week or so Took my oldest son one day. He was out from uh, university there for a few days. Took him one day. Then uh, I went another day with my my brother and his and his son, my my nephew. And uh, then I took Nevea. We went one day with uh, my brother and his uh, son. Never really recorded anything except for. Uh, little bit on the first trip here with my oldest son. Rough day on the pan, boys. Well, at least we got one trout in the pan. Got the tea on. Fella grub. Young fella got beans.
Uh, time to get ready for bed. I always sleep down here. It's always too uh, too hot up in the loft for me. And the wife and the kids love it up there in, in the heat, but not me. I'd rather be a little cool sleeping. Okay guys, I'm heading to bed. Get the stove filled up. Should burn for a few hours. I'll uh, keep refilling it through the night, but catch you guys in the morning. Oh, still, still a few flurries, not too bad. Yeah, pretty bad through the night, but all good. Get panel cleaned off again when the sun does come out. There's over a foot on the front deck here. And on for breakfast. Yeah, this propane, I don't know, it's, it uh, must have some moisture in the lines because it freezes up when it gets really cold. And it won't work. So I always got the little butane stove on standby just in case. I could put it on the wood stove too, but I just want a quick cup of coffee, so...
eggs on the garlic mousse all warmed up. Delicious. Mm. So this honey garlic mousse, all I do is uh, I'll put a couple of roasts in the oven, low and slow, 275 or 300 for, I don't know, four or five hours. Low and slow, then I'll, uh, a couple hours before supper time, I'll take it out and shred it. Take all the fat, if there's any fat and bone out of there, shred it down. You know, like you would for pulled pork or anything. <clears throat> throw in a bottle or two. Throw in a bottle or two of uh, honey garlic sauce. But I always make sure it's the no-name honey garlic sauce because the VH stuff is 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 runny, more watery, and the no-name stuff is thicker, right, eh? and more sticky, like. Then I throw that in, mix it all up, put it back in the oven for maybe an hour, hour and a half. Keep stirring every now and then. Make sure uh, the honey garlic sauce is getting into everything there. And then you can serve this over, uh, I had it over rice. But you can serve it over like uh, french fries or over noodles or whatever. Stir fries, serve, serve over some stir fried vegetables. Snow never hurt nothing, boys. Should be a should be a fun ride out. All that fresh snow. Still snowing quite a bit in places. It's like passing through, then the sun come out, and then it'll snow again. And two snow days in a row for the kids. Okay, guys, thanks a lot for coming along. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.